PowerShell Empire is a post-exploitation framework for computers running Windows operating system. We have many post-exploitation famous frameworks such as Metasploit, but PowerShell Empire specifically, uh, is specifically dedicated to machines running Windows operating system, thus it has an advantage in this regards. We have four main components of PowerShell Empire. We have the listener, which is a process that will listen to incoming connections from the victim's machine. So how to set up an incoming connection, you need to deploy a stager, which is a payload that will run on the victim's machine to initiate the connection. And uh, the program that maintains the connection between the stager and the listener is called an agent. And the fourth component here is modules, which are the malicious commands that you will run after you maintain uh, after you compromise this machine and uh, be able to command it remotely, you will be running modules such as Keylogger that we will run at the end of this video. So let's go directly to the terminal here. Um, in order to install uh, PowerShell Empire, just use this command git clone and paste this URL here. I'll paste it at the uh, uh, in the description of the video. Now, after you did, after you do that, just list and go to the Empire uh, folder here. Under that, just go to the setup folder and then initiate the install binary. So, point forward slash install sh, and this will install the PowerShell Empire. Now, go again to the Empire folder and then run empire binaries here and this is the uh, main screen of uh, the application now you can run the uh, you can put comma just to see the commands that you can run uh, you can run agents uh, listeners etc so uh, one of the first commands that we will run is listeners uh, you will see here that we have an HTTP listener. I will kill that. Okay, let's run listeners again. Now you have no active listeners. So in order to create a listener, you use this command, use listener space, then double tab. It will show you the list of available listeners. I want to create an HTTP listener. I'll go into the details of that. Uh, let me expand this while here. Uh, you need some time to get familiar with the details, but one of the most important things here is the default delay. Since the connection is asynchronous, so there will be uh, a delay between the uh, response of Kali machine and the incoming connection, so you need to set it to one second. By default, it's five seconds, so you just have to issue this command, set default delay one, and it will be set to one second now the only thing left to do is to execute now the listener has been created successfully if you want to check the listener go to use the listeners command and here we go it's listening on port 80. now the uh, next thing we talked about is the stager the stager is the payload that will infect the host machine Again, use the command use stager and uh, space double tab to see the list of available stages that we will use for the sake of this demo. We will use the uh, Windows launcher bat. So copy that, use stager and paste it here. Uh, now uh, we want to go to the options of the stager. You will see that all the options have been set. This is these are the list of options. Uh, if it's required, true or false, and this is the value. So all the options are set except for the listener here. So we need to set the listener for this stager. So use the command set listener. And if you go to options again, you will see that HTTP here has been set as a listener. Now you have to generate the payload. So after you do that, it will generate it under temp launcher.bat. So you just need to copy that and open a new terminal here. 
and then use any uh, program to read the file. I'll use leafpad, open that. You just need to copy everything here and uh, go to your Windows machine or victims machine. This is the victims machine here. Open command prompt and just paste that here. So after you paste that, you go again to your Kali machine and you will see that there is a, an incoming connection uh, from the victim's machine to our Kali machine. Now press agents and you will be able to see the two available agents that we have. Uh, red one is a previous agent I've created and this is the new agent that we have for the sake of being able to handle that easily you can rename uh, this agent for example rename uh, 3c etc to your for example victim 1 victim 2 so that you'll be able to manage that easily now uh, in order to interact with this agent use the command enter act and then the name of the agent and then press enter now we're in that agent so now we have access to the remote machine uh, what can we do you can press help to see the list of commands you can run such as oof, many many interesting commands here you can download you can kill jobs uh, you can uh, upload as well and you can run shell commands so let me uh, use this command for example ipconfig it should be shell command uh, do -do -do. and this is the IP address of the compromised uh, victim uh, you can run other commands as well so to take this one step further we can use modules to even compromise this more so use the command use module and space double tab so that you'll be able to see all the available modules all the malicious commands that you can run remotely on this machine uh, one of the interesting ones will be do, 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 the keylogger so just copy that and go down again and just paste that here so use module keylogger now let's uh, go to the options let's see if there are options to set actually there are no options to set and just we just need to execute that so the job has started now uh, let's test if key logging is, in a, is, is enabled so I go again to the my victims machine here I open anything just to write and uh, let me see if this has been captured so it says that valid results are returned by this machine. Let me go again and uh, open a notepad, for example. And uh, let me see if, again, valid results are being captured. Now, how to see the keystrokes? It is quite easy. You just open a terminal. A new terminal here and you list you go to the downloads folder and then you go to the name of your session which is 3c and you list again you open the keystrokes.txt here you go uh, this is a test and the first couple of strokes that we've hit